you get to this area and you're like, oh shit, where am I? That's right next to the gate where the arena champion is. Just standing there being all ominous. He doesn't even drop anything good. I'll show you in a sec. But you can just run past. Completely ignore her. It's definitely the way to do it. I is so not worth killing for those few scraps unless like you really, really, really need those scraps. They need to buff how many scraps she drops. Sometimes she can drop a lot, but most of the time she drops like nothing. Let's see. Do you six scraps? No, I'm totally good. She'll like, no. I thought it was about time that I made a guide on the Warmaker dungeon. Hi, I'm Illybat. I make a lot of content on survival games, my name being the one I make the most on currently, but do check out my other stuff. It's also, I'm good at other games too, not just Conan, just so you all know. But today, we're here doing the Warmaker dungeon, Godbreaker dungeon, Khalil stronghold, what do you want to call it? Arena champion area. There's a lot of things to it that a bunch of people don't know, like you don't have to fight the arena champion. What all the recipes drop what buses drop what what's worth farming where the rusty keys are all of the things that you need to know i'm gonna tell you here today if you come with me i'll um bring you along my journey and hopefully you'll learn a few things we are at khalil's stronghold right near sepumaru now you're going to want to bring some fairly decent armor and weapons if you want to fight everyone. Maybe a thrall and a decent build. I'm just going through in creative mode and killing things to show you stuff. So I'm a terrible example. Don't follow my suit. Nothing's attacking me because I'm in cloaked mode. There's a couple of boxes that you can come in here and get. They drop some cool things. You don't even have to like fight the dungeon, you can just leave again. But as soon as you enter here, if you die somewhere else, you'll have the option to spawn at a dungeon as well, which is weird, unless they've fixed that. Probably not though, because they don't like fixing things. You don't have to kill this guy or any of these guys, you can run straight past bringing a thrall here. It is decent levels because there are a lot of skeletons. Don't advise coming here before level 60. You're going to want to also probably bring a pick and a skinning knife because there's lots of things to skin and some cool resources that you can find later on, I will show you. Um, fairly decent amount of space and some encumbrance, obviously, if you want to harvest those resources. So you want to gonna want to bring a friend if you're in an encumbrance bag because these guys are nasty. But like I said, most of them you don't have to fight, and especially once you've done all the first bosses the first time and got whatever weapon you've been grinding for. You got the key, you don't need to fight any of them either. You used to have to kill this guy and then you used to uh, or get a box up there, but they took away the box because it was stupid and then you don't have to kill this guy now either because he's stupid but let's kill him for the sake of things and he's going to 100 chance of dropping the axe of the gate guardian pretty decent axe let's take that there's a bunch of shitty boxes in these little corners i won't bother showing you those i will show you some of the other more fancy steel boxes interact with the gate those guys are going to run around for a bit you can like run around and avoid them now this is a puzzle that don't touch these yet because it will be like a trap. There's lots of traps in this dungeon. They thought about it a bit more than some of the other dungeons that they've done. But yeah, this is one of the first rooms you want to go into. There's three of these to do. Two of them are more worth grinding than one of them, but we'll get to that. Kill these guys if you need the levels and things, and you probably want to take them out anyway, because if they follow in you in here, it's going to be a lot. So don't do that. Come in through this door. This guy's pretty easy. I would go out of creative mode and show you all, but you can come here and experience them for yourself. They're nothing. Generally, the first guy, the gate guardian and the arena champion are like the hard bosses in here and you don't have to fight them. So yeah, but let's kill him. Oop, can you die, sir? Sir, die, die. Thank you. Is. And we got a Balius, which is meh. I mean, if you use swords, it's cool. And other things he can drop are also the Renaissance, which is one of my favorite maces. Maces? Warhammers. But maces, he drops the Nordis. If you like a mace, there you go. And for spears, you get the Maudlin. And they all do corruptive damage, which is quite nice for messing up people's HP. And if you have a tribe mate and they want quick corruption, you don't have any other way, like corrupting bruise or black feather helm or something. Anyway, you need to get this statue and and usually take the weapon as well. Packing them up is a nice source of demon blood, so do that as well. If you got a lot of demon blood, just skin them. They're a good source of thick hide, like all demon kings. Uh, back out through this way and we'll go back to the other door. Just quickly before I leave, actually, there's a bunch of boxes that you can get that have gold and silver in them behind the bed and one that has gray lotus so it's a fairly nice place to come get gray lotus it's relatively easy if you're trying to level up your sorcery onto the next spots so the next door is the red door we're gonna go down to here and get around with my pick 
There's a bunch of bosses, uh, bosses, boxes about some seeds. All flowers can be in there too. Get that. We've learnt a language dictionary. That's cool. And I'm pretty sure you can also find a sorcerer scrolls around here. So keep your eyes peeled around any scroll walls. Kill all these dudes for the. They drop stuff now again, which is cool. If you didn't know, skeletons drop loot because for a while they didn't, even though they did before. Bit of a throne room going on couple more decent boxes. We don't seem to have any scrolls. I have found scrolls there before so I know it is a possibility. The golden door. Now this guy you can usually avoid once you've done him the first time. You'll see why. Although if you want lots of demon blood and hide like kill him away. But he only drops this stuff and some of the other stuff he can drop I will show you. We have what we just got Prophecy of the Born Witch 21 stamina. Blood stained nails extra health. If it does stack these are totally worthy. At one point when you get all the buffs these also stacked with potions and then they took that away but now you only get two buffs. I feel like these should be an extra buff especially because they're rare. Anyway I digress again. Denzin Denizens that word Denizens of the, the dark well follower damage pretty worthy prince of the black shores concussive damage 30 percent very worthy prophecy of the born witch i've just read that one rude the daughter of ymir agility weapon damage 15 percent the mastodon's tower strength weapon damage 15 percent i am of the scaled lizard interesting name carrying capacity 45 pretty decent he's going to drop the statue of the archivist because he's an archivist king i guess friends with the map room guy don't forget to look around here for potential scroll there's also a box right here no scrolls today and a box right here yeah there's another one somewhere oh if i didn't have steel tools i'd be already coming up in the world like you can come here with a pretty shitty weapon kill these guys and fight the rest of it with what you got but it's worth fighting this dungeon so you can get the fancy kits at the end which i'll show you but on to the next guy now the blue room guy is purple room whatever is debatably the hot topic of the situation he can drop the og's touch which is one of the most well was one of the most desirable Axes. I still prefer Lemurian Axe because it's craftable and it has still pretty decent armor pen and most people wear light armor so I don't know call me crazy grind this a million times or just like learn a recipe get some star metal and make a gazillion Lemurian Axes. I don't know. That's just what I prefer to do but I also can get lucky. Let's see if I get lucky this time and get it. Um, also if you get like a lying bastard from the boss, the bosses in the unnamed city, if you haven't seen my video on that, I got a video on who drops what and where. Uh, that can be skinned with the Yogg's Touch or like a Lemurian Axe also and give it extra reach which is pretty cool. So do give that a try as well. This guy has a pike, he's pretty pikey. Pretty sure he has a pike? I don't know. This guy's pretty easy anyway. Why won't you die? There we go. And I got the set's tongue. That's that's right. And the statue of the priest king. Go take that. Hack him up for your demon blood. Pretty sure there's a couple of boxes in here too, but maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this is... A oh yeah, there we go. Other stuff he can drop is Mitra's Justice. Blundering? I'm not 100% sure. Haven't used these since chapter 2 and a few of the other changes, but if you know what plundering does, please do enlighten me in the comments. Oh, Crumb's Hammer. I mean, I like the Renaissance better, not gonna lie. Yogg's Touch, as you can see, has a lot of armor pen and a lot of health damage, even though they've nerfed it mildly. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's without a kit, but still. Decato's Voice, a very nice bow. Chippewasag's Prowls, they're cool because they do bleed even on light attacks. Set's tongues, the ones I got from actually killing him, they're going to give you plundering as well. See, they both used to give cleansing. So if like you had a bunch of buffs on, you could smack someone with it and would take their buffs off. And or if you were drunk from trying to get the strength and vitality buff that getting drunk used to give you, you'd have them and you wouldn't have poisoning. If you get poisoned by a snake or something, you can equip them and you won't have poison anymore, etc, etc. But yeah, do enlighten me on plundering or I might have to do some testing at the end of the video. But now we've got all of our three statues oh almost forgot you missed Taj it's gonna keep you nice and cool in hot environments it used to be keep you cold keep you warm in cold environments they've changed that apparently but that's another cool legendary that I didn't put into my other hot and cold surviving temperatures video because it's kind of a pretty random chance to come get and who knows if it even works anymore apparently the eye of the watcher has stopped working which is a cold sword yeah now we've got these guys let's go out and figure out a puzzle now the puzzle is 
not that hard. It's kind of less like areas where these guys hang out. We got like Beast King's retreat city. And I guess this is kind of meant to be like the Burrow King area. I don't know. But that's where you put them if you don't know. That's the exit door. A little story here in the spirit of things I will read. Although I do believe that I have read it on another episode of something or other. I don't know. I'll read it again. I do not know what I have found here. This architecture is not familiar to me, yet it speaks to me, entices me. It wants me to explore it further. I have heard voices in a foreign tongue coming from the other doors. I have no interest in finding out whom they belong to. This door interests me though. It is blocked by some sort of mechanism. It may have something to do with these statuettes that I have found. How do you find the statuettes if he doesn't have interest in the other doors? I don't know about your story, man. Well, on with the story. Well, they were lying around the place, so I picked them up. Why do I have to fight bosses for them? Anyway, I will try my luck with opening this door. They don't call me Beyond the Lucky for nothing. Right? Right, Beyond? They call me Illy about the Lucky, so I get you. Now, avoid these traps because they suck. <laughs> <laughs> They'll mess you up. That rug was a bit glitchy. Now you do have to run the dungeon. I have attempted to see whether you could run this way and like jump over there to do some stuff with the ice bridge. You can't. You can no longer double jump and get to sketchy places that I know of, although possibly you can. Huh? Run down here. Now there are a couple of more traps along the ground, so do keep your eye out. They're everywhere. You get these fun ones that are going to fling you up and they're all like super dramatic. I run into it every single time. But you can go in here. There's a couple more skeletons around to fight. I generally try to take them out first because it's unpleasant when you don't. They all just like kind of gank you at once. More boxes. There are five keys that you can find and four doors at the end. So you get to take a key home. They look like this. They only last an hour. So you got to do the dungeon quickly and then put them in the fridge at home. So when you're coming back to grind it and just running past everyone, you don't have to get one of the extra keys. Or if you do, they'll like slowly build up for one time when you're lazy. You want to like run through without that. Let's go up here. There's another key. Usually you jump on the bungy thing and it will like, woo, up. You jump up here. There's that box. That one with the key. With the key. Another box here. You don't have to worry about most of these boxes that are lying around. Again, oops, you're meant to jump up on that one. It brings you up here. Couple more boxes full of nothings and the other key. Down here. You don't have to fight this guy, but he also drops a key for the regular route into how you do this dungeon. I'm going to show you all a little trick. Oh, I got the world breaker. He can drop the world breaker or the annihilator, which also does a lot of armor pen. They used to do 100%, so they were like crazy. This is still a very good sword. I mean, Warhammer, that one. Then we got the key to the arena, which is where you fight the arena champion. We'll get to that in a moment. Let me show you the annihilator quick. Oh, and it's like really a poo now. Yeah, cool. Moving on, getting boxes. So many traps are getting messed up by one box here. So many skeletons. Couple of boxes here. I thought that was on the other side. I got a bit confused. Yeah, like if you don't have anything, this is like a lot of stuff, which is pretty cool. Another box there. Ooh, exploding everything. <coughs> Another one there. The key box back down that would be all the keys now regularly we kill all these guys and you use that key to go through here over a bunch of shitty traps and then it's like way harder to avoid her because you've got to walk straight past but while i'm here i'll show you her recipe is just here Pretty worth learning. It's got some cool stuff in the armor. And this box used to always have a repair kit, but now no longer does. So like, whatever. If you already have the recipe, or even if you don't, I'm going to show you all this way. Go back out. It's counterproductive. Okay, so you're running along and you're like, oh, I didn't want to kill the annihilator guy. What do I do? Oh, what's this crack? Then you got to crouch usually. Why won't I crouch? There we go. Get through there, and they can't actually follow you through either, so that's a nice way to lose aggro. You're gonna get to this area, and you're like, oh shit, where am I? 
That's right next to the gate where the arena champion is. Just standing there being all ominous and shitty. She doesn't even drop anything good. I'll show you in a sec. But you can just run past. Completely ignore her. It's definitely the way to do it. I It's so not worth killing for those few scraps unless like you really, really, really need those scraps. They need to buff how many scraps she drops. Sometimes she can drop a lot, but most of the time she drops like nothing. Let's see. See, six scraps. No, I'm totally good. She'll like, no. There are easy ways to kill her, but I just super can't be bothered. It's not worth my time, even if there's super, way super, <laughs> super easy ways to kill her. Now, this is in fact not just decor. This is black ice. So you want to get it all because you don't have to go to some crazy place in the north where you're going to get frostbite. It's a really nice place to come get black ice. I like to come with a friend or a bearer thrall or something so I can get a bunch of it. It's pretty worthy. Highly recommend. There's a couple of rooms along here with various different stuff stuff boxes some demon turtles lots of gold and silver coins to be had here if you're trying to save up and you haven't been to the volcano yet to get some um gold to buy your thralls maybe you're making alchemy base by grinding this stuff up they'll all fight each other as well so even if you're low level trying to do this you can kind of get some hits on these dudes while they're fighting each other not really recommended though some spiders for some echo which is nice More spideys. Oh, get out of my way. Uh, a couple of demon turtles, which are quite good for their blood. And a really shitty demon dragon, skeleton dragon. This one's not like the one in the sinkhole, but very similar. So let's kill them. So there's no chaos everywhere. That guy's not going to give me any demon blood now I said it. But you can skin them and get a bunch of thick hide quite nicely. He drops the key in his inventory. He's not going to give you that other thing that um they usually give you. The star tropehedron or whatever it's called. Yet nothing with that thing. Yeah, decent amount of demon blood from them. Over here is a loot box and it's one of the chests that you can open before being level 60, which is pretty cool. So if you happen to be here with a friend and you are both doing it and you're not level 60 yet and you didn't get one of the legendary weapons of your choice from these things, you can get this guy before level 60, which is kind of cool. Still a few more little rooms before we're at the end, but we are almost at the end. It's not the hugest dungeon, especially once you've got those few keys and you know the little crack in the wall. It's just so quick. You just come here to farm black ice. Another box. Usually there's stuff in here. Mammoths for some elephant hide, although they don't really give that much elephant hide. It's I'd probably not kill them. The loot room, lots of cool loots in here. Often slot caps me. But although now like with these different events and different stuff happening in the seasons, who knows what they'll add next season. I bet the caravans are probably going to leave though. So take advantage of them while you can and get all the black blood picks and stored in a box. You don't have to go random RNG bats. How much black eye? But um, yeah, they'll probably make the game easier and easier and easier. So these loot boxes will come more and more obsolete, but I still like them. This Yeti, there's no way to him. Even if you ghost through there, he does, he does nothing. But he's kind of cool. Can't really see him very well. Kind of glitching with the side of my camera. I think that's a missed opportunity. Should it be able to like bring a bomb here or explosive arrow and have like another boss where you had to figure out? I think I've mentioned that before, but anyway. Once you go through here, you cannot come back out. This guy is pretty easy though. He's definitely the easiest like i don't know some of the pacing of their dungeons definitely needs to be a bit more thought out he can drop a couple of things what are they called the, can the carnage and the destroyer they give you instant corruption he drops for way more crap than old love usually there's a couple of these doors so we came in through that one i get a little bit confused but yeah they get the carnage and the destroyer give you instant corruption so they're kind of good to have. They're kind of like the Black Feather Helm. If you already wear a Corruption build, which I've got videos coming out on that, don't worry. If you don't know much about Corruption builds, you need to have a bunch of Corruption for it. And you might as well use some of them while you have Corruption, I suppose. But they're not very good weapons. These don't have a huge amount of scraps. And be careful pressing F on the box. It doesn't always loot it. I used to get stuck in here and have to use another key. And I had a theory that's why they gave you five keys. But now I don't think that happens. I think you can just get out for free. And they stay open a bit longer. But it will remove the keys from your inventory upon clicking it. 
But yeah, sometimes F doesn't fully loot the boxes and you run out and be like, why do I only have two scraps? They nerfed how many scraps you get immensely and that kind of sucks. While you're running around, you're going to see these tablets. Wallmaker, Weaponsmith, and Grandmaster Weaponsmith. They do some cool things, which I'll show you in a moment too. And the Godbreaker Armor and the Grandmaster Armor Smith, which also do some cool things, which I will also show you in a moment. One scraps. Bad times. All these are traps too. So, devil. So after that, we got how many scraps? Let's drop some of this nonsense. 18 scraps. That's like enough to make one piece of armor. I advise going with the Godbreaker boots first because they heal your stuff, which is quite nice. But now you've come here, you can put a thrall in a bench and be able to make repair kits of legendary variety as well. I don't think you can do it beforehand. Pretty sure you need to do this and you need to have a certain type of thrall. Maybe you just need to have the certain type of thrall. Meh, I don't know. Let's go through some of the stuff you can now leave this place through this exit. Grandmaster Armor Smith is going to teach you these platings and I don't use gliding dreads particularly. Bulk plating is also not particularly worth it. Master Armor Plating, sure. I still just prefer using the shitty lightning kits but yeah sure. This is the main reason why I come here to get the master weapon fitting. It's going to do one less weapon damage than what a hardened steel damage kit would do and one less armor pen than it would if you put an armor pen kit on it but it does both of them. That's really nice. I don't really use these ones either but that's going to give you more stamina which is good for things that use a lot of stamina I guess and the master reinforcements nice for things that are super brutal. I've talked about Godbreaker and arena champion armor in my recipe guides before and some of this other stuff so if you haven't checked that out do check out my recipe guide i go into a bunch of this in a lot more detail but we're mostly here just seeing the run of the dungeon at the moment and we're not quite done yet either so do bear with me there's still a few more secrets to go now mind to learn those tablets you will need to be level high enough to learn epic armors and also two-handed epics and stuff so you have to be like level 55 at least or 60 you might as well just come here here at level 60 it's pretty worth it waiting for sure i've done it at lower levels like level 40 and stuff and then not be able to learn and it's a little bit a little bit annoying even though you tend to run it a lot anyway like i remember getting the yogs touch first time on one of the last pvp servers i played on before i did official ones anyway one of the last official pvp servers i played on my tribe mate got the yogs touch straight away neither of us could learn both of the recipes i think i could learn one of them the weapon ones maybe couldn't learn the armor ones maybe it was the other way around i'm not sure i can't remember now but it was annoying because we're like oh we already got the yogs touch now we have to go back again a million times i suppose we could get scrap anyway i digress now i've already eaten some salted pork but i'll eat some more let's eat a bigger potion as you can see i've got two buffs going on there if i eat maybe the stamina one we'll see if it replaces either of those and now we'll know yeah, so it does replace the potion. I feel like that's a super missed opportunity. This game is just a bunch of missed opportunities. Seeing as they're so rare and you can just craft potions, unless they last a sustainably lot longer. Substantially a lot longer, they're not sustainable, that thing. Um, anyway, now back out through the door. There's a couple of boxes along here. Make sure I don't miss them. There. And for the longest time, I did not know about a bunch of these there. Oh, I got a potion. So let's take that. So you're like, oh, so excited. Going to jump off the edge. But wait, there's more. So much more. But like, no reason. Loot all this good stuff. If you're a loot goblin like me, this is very exciting. <laughs> I didn't know about that for ages, but yeah, just behind that. It's probably more spots like that in the dungeon that I haven't found. There's lots of stuff in this game to discover, try not to get wrecked. Back out here and we are at the beginning again. And you can continue running around in a circle if you so desire. Go back into creative mode and then you exit back out through here. But usually by the time you've done all that, rather than going straight on a loop again, you come and kill these guys again to try your luck at seeing what you can get. I would have respawned by now and then continue on your way back out 
run past this nonsense guy unless you love fighting things and you want more access of the Gate Guardian. Not a horrible axe, like I said. Used to give you grit, now longer does. I'm pretty sure it was grit. Correct me in the comments. I don't know, they change stuff all the time. It's so hard to keep up, but I try to make these as accurate as I can. Sorry, I am not as forthcoming with information as I possibly could be, but you get the general gist. And you get to learn some stuff that you possibly wouldn't have by yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little Wallmaker Dungeon tutorial. And if you did, I am smash the like and subscribe button. It means a bunch. Um, until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.